Here's a little update for those of you affected by BFF or the black fig fly. Um, it can be kind of tricky to learn how to spot it, but once you're familiar with your trees, you'll actually learn the signs. Like some people might think, oh, that's coloring up early. Maybe that's one of them. But really what will end up happening is not, usually not a global uniform coloration like that or like this one but it will end up looking more like this. You see how the top part of that is coloring up and not the rest of it? So let's pick that off and cut it open just one second. Sorry, I don't have a way to hold it. There we go. Okay. So you cut that one open, you can see right there, there's the classic channeling and if I was to cut it up a little bit more, you'd see the actual larvae themselves. So that's what it will look like. All right, look, let's look for some more. Um, they actually really liked this tree last year. This is Dolce Calderai. But they also loved this variety. And this is Violet de Solis. Um, I bet I can find some on here. I've actually started a new treatment regimen that is not approved, but was suggested by a couple of people over in Europe. So I'm seeing if that might work. I definitely feel like, oh, uh, Let's give this one a shot. I feel like I've had far, far less signs of it here than what I've seen on other local trees. So I think that it's actually being pretty successful. Look, oh, there's another one. See the little stripes? All right, let's cut these open and see. I'm just trying to help other people learn how you can tell when something is, is affected or not. Just give me one second. Oop, uh, I wish I had a way to hold that, but hold on. Let me just push pause and then I'll come back. Okay, here they are. Here's this one. Look at that. Right there. This one was fairly new, but you can see the coloration just fairly faint. Look at this. Cut that open and there you go. So just keep an eye on it. It's easier to tell when you're looking at dark colored figs. When you're looking at light figs, figs that ripen yellow or green, it's harder to find. But what you will usually see is... Oh, I wish I had some. I caught those fairly early, those dark ones. But if you had left them on another couple of days, if you weren't paying close attention, then, oh, this one might just be aborting because even though they say this variety is common, Dolce Calderai, I, I drop a ton of these figs for some reason. But what you'll see is it starts to get wrinkled and spongy in an area. This one is hard and firm over here and it's spongy here. That also sometimes happens when they just abort, so there may not be any BFF in it, but I'm just showing you this one because it actually looks very similar to the green figs. There will be some striping, kind of like what you see here. And along those stripes, it won't be the whole fig, but along those areas, it will be spongy and wrinkled. And inside of that is usually where you'll find the BFF on the green figs. So just pay close attention. I walk my trees almost every day, sometimes multiple times every day, and I remove and discard everything. That could be one of the reasons why I've had a much lower uh, infestation than I did last year, even though it started as early as March here. All right, good luck. Let me know if you have any questions. If I spot any other figs as I'm walking around today that are green, I will...